back to TGTV and more specifically welcome back to another petrol station. Today is going to be... I don't know whether it's going to be an exciting day actually. I don't actually know what I'm going to be doing. What are we doing? Are we going to see Mr. Paul Wallace? We're going to dab customs because this is YouTube. Uh, and Paul is doing something to his car I believe, is he? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's in the video. Paul's doing something to his car, so I'm going to go and check it out, see what's going on. Uh, apparently they've got some cool motors down there, so I'm going to have a little look and see how this video unfolds. Talking and cool I'm going to think of... Shut up. And I'm going to think of a title along the way, and think of a clickbait thumbnail uh, to get everyone watching the video, because otherwise, there's no point doing these. No, no, Gotta no. get that revenue, mate. Gotta get that revenue. Gotta get it. Du -du -du -du. Oh, no. Archie, have me a wee, mate. Where are you? Give me a little wee, mate. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so we are actually in Archie's M2 today and I was saying to Archie earlier, out of all the M cars, the M2 is actually probably my favourite. I think it looks the nicest. What I would say as well, I know I announced that I'd put a deposit down for the M2 competition or CS. I've actually got my deposit back. A, because I've had a financially aggressive few months and B, because I don't actually really want one and I don't really, I don't know. Is that good enough reason? I still have the uh, deposit in for the Mini Cooper GP Works, whatever it is though, so hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that gets announced soon and they reveal what the actual production car is going to look like because I'm excited for that, I am a big Mini fan, um, but yeah, I will not be getting any variant of the M2 anytime soon. Okay, yeah, that looks quite cool for So I have arrived at Dub Customs. Of course, of course, of course. Mr. Wallace has just taken the covers off his C63, having just got a new wrap on it. But here is his new wrap on his C63 anyway. I think it looks pretty sick, to be honest. There's been a couple of kind of cars that have inspired this, this particular wrap. I'll let Paul talk about it more, but I think it's come out actually really, really well. As you may know, I'm not the hugest fan of wrapping often. I think often it ruins the car because people don't know what they're doing. Um, but the dub boys here have absolutely smashed it. And more excitingly than this, potentially, my brother has just told me he's turning up and he is turning up in a 700 brake horsepower Bentley for some reason. So he is en route and I'm going to let him explain exactly what on earth has happened. Because to be honest with you, I don't know what he's doing and I don't know where this Bentley's come from. So hi Paul. Hi mate. How's it going? How are you feeling about it? Uh, more relaxed now. Yeah, feeling less stressed, yeah? Yeah, until I drive around the M25 and everyone's looking at it, then I'll probably get a bit nervous again. Until you're off to go and buy some bread <laughs> in the supermarket. Yeah, yeah, some milk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, just off to get some milk, don't worry about the don't mind me. flames coming out the back. <laughs> This is your idea of a sensible daily driver, yes? Yep. Yep, well done mate, nailed it. So you've actually been trolling, press the button. That valve's off, come then valve's Sounds off. Sounds like you turned the engine off. Okay, turn it back on. Back on again. Oh. That's so much difference, well done. It's it's, you're still a Burke. It's <laughs> still not a sensible daily. <laughs> <laughs> How much power is it running? 625. 625 brake horsepower. That, that you used to go and get your shopping in has more power than a hurricane. So the car is now outside in the light and it looks absolutely unbelievable. Dub boys have smashed it. Paul, you must be very happy, mate. It looks decent. I'm happy. Excellent. This is, this is the dark side, and then we have the, uh, the light side on the other side. J.E. is threatening to turn up still, and I really don't know where he is, so this might be a uh, my brother got a Bentley video without my brother in a Bentley, so we, we, we shall see. <laughs> Mustang. It's nice, but like it's really, really, really... That's not my vibe. I have no the idea. M2. Shut up. <laughs> We've already done a bit on the M2, um, but at this point in time, it's all to play for. Q, Q7 over there. It's quite a nice spec. Yeah, we have a Q7. Is that your dad's, Archie? Because your, your dad's got one of those as well. Yeah, 
<laughs> so we just had to cut out a lot of that chat because it got onto uh, what Archie's dad gets up to, so. <laughs> <laughs> So, no idea where James is, but the boot is open. He's not in the boot. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, JE's not in here, but yeah. more importantly, the JE. It's a nice protein, haven't we, mate? Yep, you gave me that. No, you bought off the website. Oh, yeah. Rightio, so Jay didn't end up turning up to Dub Customs in the end. He thought it'd be a better idea to, I don't know, go and sit in traffic and generally waste our time. Um, but we found him anyway, we found him and he has brought along his Bentley Super Sports, which you can just see over there. The car is absolutely ridiculous spec. We've also been joined actually, I'm an absolute fanboy so I've been distracted already, but we've also been joined by this lovely Carrera T and I think this is one of the only other Carrera T's I've seen out and about in the flesh. This is obviously in Miami blue. It's got some nice options in here. We've got the yellow stitching obviously. The all important 918 seats. Uh, they're called the fixed buckets or the lightweight buckets. Manual gearbox, because if you get a Carrera T and you don't have a manual gearbox then you uh, need to see a GP because that's the whole point of the car. We have the Carrera S wheels, so these are the different optioned wheels, and a lot of you have been telling me that I should have got these. And we've also got the non-ceramic brakes. So these were the standard brake options. You don't get offered the red steel sports brakes. You only get these ones or the ceramics. That's why I opted for the ceramics. Not that it makes any difference. The chap here has left the wing up. However, this is raising a very interesting point, and a point that I've not covered before. But the wing on this car actually raises higher than the standard Carrera S, so you get a slightly more angle on the wing on the Carrera T. Not many people know that, and I only learned that recently. Inside here though, it's a very similar story. Very nice Alcantara wheel, and you've got the multifunction buttons in there as well. Look at it, it looks so good just with a manual gear stick there, doesn't it? So differences between this one and my one, this has not got the painted rear lip at the bottom there, so I opted to have this painted body color. Uh, but it does have the all-important LED headlights with the four, uh, four dot kind of running lights on there as well. Oh, and it doesn't have a sunroof either. It does not have a sunroof. So I've seen quite a lot of these cars about, uh, particularly dealer demos with PDK and sunroof. I've seen I... a PDK. If you have a PDK, you've died, right? Absolutely died. If you expect PDK and a sunroof on one of these, like you may as well just go and go Carrera S and, and not bother with life. Oh, there we go. The running lights. They just look so cool. But that, oh, speak of the devil, that is a Carrera S. So that is what you should just go and get if you're gonna spec a PDK and a sunroof from one of these. JE's over there. 710. 710 brake horsepower, being reliably informed. 710 cars. Oh, 710, I can't read, I thought it said 110. Oh, okay. How many brake horsepower is it, mate? 710, I think, but 12 710 as well. So there's a 710 theme going on. Archie's in the car now for some reason. What could be more necessary than a 700 brake horsepower Bentley? <laughs> so, all in here, there's a really nice carbon kind of weaving there, you can't really make it out. And here as well, it's like all like 3D. And we've got Alcantara and leather and all sorts of vibes there. And at the back as well. So the, the craftsmanship in here, obviously, as you'd expect, is absolutely top notch. And this kind of carbon big square weave here looks so cool. Uh, I think we've got a Bretling clock there as well. And we've got the powerful hi-fi as well. The colour on this is absolutely stunning. You probably can't really make it out in the light, but it's a uh, very nice blue. I don't know what the colour is called. Do you know what the colour is called? Mate, I'm, I'm ignorant. Pig ignorant. Pig ignorant. Where's this car come from? Any any ideas? Um, I do like this. I feel very cosseted in here. You instantly assume a sort of feeling of wealth when you're in here. It's quite oh nice. yeah, there's a salubrious vibe. Only in London would you just get a Carrera GT parked up on the street. He likes it. Yep. Oh, we got someone else taking a photo there. People do enjoy it, unless there's something interesting behind us. Oh, there's an old school 911 behind us. Might be that. So how are you feeling? Oh, that does actually sound pretty nice. That is chaos. Isn't mate, that, that noise. Mm, what, is that your, what, is that? <laughs> what is that in your mouth? I don't know, mate. Tom, have you know. seen this? I don't know. Don't tell my mum. Don't tell no, my mum. No, no, no. What's in there? Hang on. Wait, can I? Don't tell my mum. No, no, no. I won't tell it. Just Hold on. Just keep
Oh, for... Okay, that is that. That's all we've got time for. Uh, it got a bit delayed because J.E., even though he's wearing a watch, clearly doesn't know how to tell the time. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe. Make sure you follow this Pratt on Instagram as well. His Instagram will be on the screen. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Subscribe, blah, 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 and I'll see you again soon. Da, 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 da.